Hi there, I'm Fred Baining. And behind me you can see the uh, 1988 Porsche 924S that I converted to an electric vehicle. It uh, has been on the road now for some six months. And uh, what inspired me to put this together, and I wanted to compile a little bit of information about the build and the project and what's in it. Uh, the inspiration of this was uh, Ed Clausen. Ed, how you doing, guy? Uh, really appreciated your video last week and uh, love the way your BMW is coming together. Uh, I use largely the same set of components in the Porsche. As I mentioned, it's been on the road for six months and it probably is worthwhile to take a look at how we did that, what, it, what went into it, and how it got put together. And uh, I would probably preface all of this by saying this really is a poster child for Jack's strategy of making OEM components available to do-it-yourselfers like myself. Uh, I've got to confess that I haven't really contributed much to the effort. I'm a uh, sales and marketing guy by uh, by occupation, retired now, and unfortunately don't have the kind of coding skills that would enable me to do hacking and uh, reverse engineering. So I'm basically a consumer and uh, a very happy consumer at this point. So what went into the Porsche EV behind me uh, is a Siemens motor with the DMOC controller and of course a JEVQ to make that work. It has a Chevy Volt uh, auxiliary power supply or DC-DC converter, also with a little uh, uh, EVTV controller, and a Chevy Volt charger. All of that powered by a uh, Better Place battery pack. And all of that acquired from uh, EVTV. So Jack, thank you buddy. I appreciate it. I, I will be forever in your debt. And uh, just wanted to kind of show you what went into this. So uh, hold on tight and we'll take a look at a little slideshow here that compresses about a year and a half of project build into about a minute and a half. And uh, following that, I'll have some wrap up comments. I began this project by accumulating parts, the first of which was the Better Place battery pack. Uh, Jack Rickard made an offer that I simply couldn't refuse after he acquired these things. I had no idea what I was going to do with them. And subsequently, he made another offer on uh, uh, the Siemens motor and DMOC controller. Once again, I didn't know what I'd do with them, but I went to EVCCon and picked up a bunch of other bits and pieces to uh, fill up my pickup truck that I was using to tow my, uh, my EVTD home. So with all of this gear stashed in the corner of my garage, I needed to start looking at cars to build out this project. And uh, unfortunately, without a lot of success in the early going, uh, they were either too small, too rusty, too far gone, uh, lacking important things like air conditioning, power brakes, power steering. I really did want disc brakes. Uh, I looked at one very nice Carmen Ghia, actually, but since the uh, EVTD was based on a Volkswagen frame anyway, I decided I'd already done that, so I would just pass that one by. Then I found this.
So the EVTD has a friend now with the Porsche taking up residence in my garage. I've taken the opportunity to tidy things up, uh, place the JevQ on top of the inverter, and put a lid on top of that tangled up mess of wires in the junction box, and finally spent a fair amount of time with the custom dashboard. With almost a thousand miles on it, it was time for the Porsche to make its public debut, so I took it out to the Cedar Park Cross Country car show this past weekend, and I got very, very good marks. You've probably broken the code. These were the only two cars in the electric vehicle class, but I'm happy anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little compressed view of the project over the last year and a half. Uh, I will be putting together a uh, little drive test, and I gotta confess, I'm, I'm recording this on my iPhone, and it's kind of silly. It's a rubber band stretched around the iPhone attached to a folding music stand. Uh, I really do need to borrow a GoPro, and of course that would be from my son or my son-in-law who have such things, and I'd like to take you on a road trip. So stay tuned. We'll be doing more of these little videos, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll follow up with you later. So thanks so much, and, and happy EVing.